Okay, welcome to part three of how to draw Celtic knot work. And this is the methods on constructing this double heart Triscale design. We've got it pen and inked. What we need to do is erase it. And we've let it dry a bit. I'm just going to erase a lot of the spine of the design that we did in part one. And then we're just going to darken over the negative and positive space just to make it pop right out and make it have that illusion of Celtic knots that it's endless and alternatively going over and under and over and under. As I've said before, the Celts were obsessed with creating patterns of threes. They also made patterns of fours and symmetrical patterns of two as well. However, the Triskel is something that they took and really made their own from about 2,500 years ago to 1,000 years ago. We've got most of the pencils taken out. I'm going to take a thicker marker and start cross-hatching it. I'm just going to start marking around the design like this. Once you use your thicker marker, you can start to uh, smooth out any of those other imperfections you're not really happy with. This segment two is going to be alternatively called turning lead to gold. And the way that I do that myself is by taking a pencil sketch made with a lead pencil. I make it into a design, then I take that design and make it into a wax model. And then from that wax model, I'll cast it in silver or in gold. So I'm just going to take you on a journey from lead to gold. You may have noticed in this segment two that I'm not drawing outside anymore. Well, that's because I'm from Canada and it's November, and if you stay outside for more than five minutes, your hands get a little too tired to draw outside without gloves on. And for detailed work like that, like this, that's a little too difficult. So, basically, an ink pen, drawing with one, one of the secrets to do is actually imagine that you're drawing with a very, 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 very small and tight paintbrush. Because that's essentially what it is. Your ink bleeds somewhat the thicker and wider your pen is. battery power here too, so I'm actually going to plug my camera in because I don't want to lose any power. Sorry. Try that again. There we go. Basically, I just follow the design, but I just tease the outside edges 
of the lines that I've drawn. I also like to do this with paint, but one of the things I'd like to do is actually draw on vellum, just like the old Celtic artists did, and they used crushed semi-precious stones as well as gold and silver leaf to give the different designs. terminal points here of the uh, of the hearts here in the four quadrants are uh, variants of that Triskel border pattern that I've shown how to draw to you awesome Another secret, which is kind of difficult to do right now because I'm actually drawing on a stationary surface, is that it's good to rotate the piece because your hand has a certain direction it prefers to draw in. And being right-handed, it's easier for me to draw like this as opposed to this way because I can see this line here with my eye. Closing in on the edge. Oftentimes, if you've drawn and you like to draw, most people like to start drawing cartoons or caricatures. And you'll notice that the black or dark part of a drawing stronger on the eye than the white part. Meaning, when you're drawing, you kind of have to make the outline bigger than you think it should be, because once you coloring the negative space to make it pop, it makes it look smaller. If you make any mistakes when you're inking a pattern, just take it to a good black and white photocopier and ask them or have the photocopier programmed to make it in a reverse image and then you can correct your mistake or make it a little bigger. So. Is my version of drawing a freehand double hard Celtic Triscal. I'm gonna wait a bit for this ink to dry before I 
erase any more of the design because this ink is much wetter. And in the subsequent sections, follow one called Turning Lead to Gold because I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to use it to make a nice Celtic pendant, which is what I do at my website, bellchamber.net. And we're on the last bit of it. There we go. Thanks very much. Remember to email me at jason at bellchamber.net if you have any questions or if you'd like me to deconstruct a Celtic pattern for you.